are going to talk about the hyperlink function available in Excel. Now, in, the previous, in a previous video, I did talk about just regular hyperlinks. So if you needed some background about what a hyperlink is supposed to do, um, please go check out that video. For now, we're going to use it in a slightly more advanced situation. So what I have here is I have a list of employees and I'm generating their email address based on the setup we have here at the company. What I, what I do is we take the first letter of their first name followed by their last name at thecompanyname.com. Now, what I've done is I've created a function to do that. Essentially, it's a combination of lower and left function in this case. If you need information about these functions, please go check out my videos related to the left function as well as the lower function. However, it's not working because as soon as I do that, these are not hyperlinks. I can't actually click them to go and send that particular person an email and I'd like it to be done that way. So what we can use is we can use something called the hyperlink function and how it works. There are two arguments to the hyperlink function. One is the link location. So what is it linking to? And then the other is the friendly name and the friendly name is what actually displays in the cell. So we're actually going to end up having to use both here and I'm going to show you why. So I've taken the hyperlink function. I'm just going to wrap this entire thing in it. So essentially it's just going to be saying, turn the hype, turn um, the email address into a hyperlink. Problem is it's not going to work. I'm going to fill it down so you can see it displays as a hyperlink. However, if I click it, I get an error. It says cannot open the specified file. Well, I didn't link it to a file. I linked it to an email address and that is where the problem lies. When I'm doing a hyperlink to an email, I need the word mail to colon in front of it so I can activate whatever desktop application you're using for email. So I need to modify this slightly. In, in front of the lower there, I'm just going to concatenate the words mail to. And if you need information about the concatenate, well, of course, you guessed it. I got a video about that too. So I'm going to add in the text mail to in front of that whole link. I'm going to hit enter. There is essentially now the formula that's in place and it says mail to. So now if I click it, it will actually work. If I click it, you can see there it goes, loads my email application and there's the email in the to section. Problem is, is that that doesn't look so good. Let's say I don't want it to say mail to. I just want the email address displayed. Well, that's the second part of the hyperlink function. You have the link location and then you have the friendly name. It's an optional argument. It's essentially how you want it to display in the cell. Well, what I can do is I'm going to take this whole section here that determines the email address that I'm creating and I'm going to put that in the friendly name of the hyperlink function. I'll take a look at this a little bit bigger here so you can see it. Is we have hyperlink and then I've added the mail to which is of course followed by the email address. And then in the optional argument, the display portion of the hyperlink, I've added in this portion, which is just the email address. So the friendly name is how you want it to display. And you can see now it's removed that mail to, but if I were to click it, it still automatically launches my email application and puts in the correct email address. So that's where this hyperlink function can be really useful in Excel. When you're doing a little bit larger analysis or mass generating hyperlinks, that function can save you a lot, a lot of time uh, moving forward instead of having to manually put in these hyperlinks.